Yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Pony Montana, and in this video, we're gonna be going over custom stems in Madden 25, and this is also gonna teeter off onto the college football scene. But in Madden 25, there are a bunch of different kind of custom stems that you guys can utilize but we're going to be specifically talking about the glitched routes because ea will be dropping a patch soon that will be patching the custom stem glitch so in this video we're going to be going over the best routes to utilize the custom stem glitch with as well as one of my favorite regular normal custom stems that will not be touched now before i get into it if you guys are new like comment subscribe y'all already know the vibe so Custom stems, they are very, very annoying, especially the glitched ones, uh, because they 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 result in us having to focus on those specific routes every single time that we step onto the field. They will be patched. So again, this video is simply just for people that want to have a little bit of fun before that patch comes. I was gonna drop it, I was gonna drop this video earlier, but I figured because the patch was coming, I didn't want to drop a video that you guys wouldn't be able to utilize. So we're gonna be going over the best routes, in my opinion, for the custom stem glitch. And we're gonna start off coming out of trips tight end. It's the route from the tight end out of curl flat. Now you can find this in a bunch of different routes, but the tight end usually is hipped up to the line because there's two different kinds of corner routes, technically three. Uh, you can look at the route that's coming out of verticals uh, and that route isn't that great. And then you can look at the route coming out of curl flat. Well, the verticals route is good to beat man coverage, but then you have the curl flat. If you custom stem glitch this, this route is is one of the best in the game hands down we're going to be going over three other routes after this but i'm just going to showcase how this how this route looks but as you can see this is the normal route for curl flat now you can find this in plays like bunch tight end tight end corner uh you can find this in the inside switch out of bunch tight end as well but this is one of the best custom stem glitched corner routes in the game they he just breaks off the line so fast and he ends up getting toward towards the sideline and you're able to make sideline catches just like that and that gets frustrating for your opponent to have to deal with the normal this is what it looks like from the play and this is what it looks like when you when you hot route for the tight end as you can see it doesn't get that deep it is a sharper cut for the tight end but for the most part it does not get as deep and that's one of the frustrating things about the custom stem glitch that it makes some of these routes almost unstoppable so this is number this is route number one now we're gonna keep it in trips tight end simply to talk about route number two now a lot of people like to utilize drags in their concepts in their route concepts in their play concepts just to bring down any hard flats or any underneath routes that could potentially be there a drag does does the it does the job of bringing any hook zones that are that are playing underneath underneath and it brings down any flats to come down but if you look at the drag look at how slow he runs that drag right now granted this is normal game speed and we're gonna have to deal with this once this gets patched but you see how slow he runs that drag it kind of looks like an in route it does it, it looks like he's taking a little he he takes too big of a dip when it comes to that in route so what i'm gonna do here is the second route that we're gonna talk about is the in route the in route if you custom stem glitch it watch how much faster this custom stem in route is the in route is faster than the drag it's one of the best routes to create speedy separation up against anybody that's playing main coverage especially if he he is on a drag do not put him on a drag right now just custom stem him custom stem an in route and you'll end up having better success and faster success than actually putting a drag out on the field i'm gonna do it one more time triangle is on the custom stem while O is on his regular drag and watch triangle will catch up to O faster simply because of the cut as you can see if this was a race that custom stem glitch will win so again this is route number two that you guys need to make sure that you guys are utilizing now route number three is a route that is also something that you guys can hot route as well these the routes that you can hot route are the best routes in the game obviously because you can put them on the field at any point in time this one is going to work and serve as a clear out route for the middle of the field if you got somebody that's spamming cover four you got somebody that's spamming cover three utilize this it is the skinny post coming out of any kind of uh if you run a post on the outside of the field all of a sudden you will be able to clear out route everything that's in the it that's in the middle of the field simply because of how the spacing is he runs so fast towards the middle of the field it brings back any zone that's out there and 
obviously horrible read but it brings back any zone that's out there especially if there's a deep blue zone so if there's if they're running cover four this is something that you're going to want to utilize a lot you got a lot of people spamming cover four drop cover cover four quarters and things of that nature so we're going to cancel whatever kind of match coverage that they think they're running and we're, and we're going to put one of these guys on some kind of custom stemmed skinny post the skinny post not only beats man coverage it torches man coverage and it works as a beautiful clear out route for anybody that is playing those deep zones. Now this ended up being some kind of cover too. As you can see, these guys are just waiting on, uh, waiting on the, on, on, just waiting on the deep zones in the middle of the field. So it doesn't really work for that kind of play. But if you're facing cover three or cover four, the skinny post is one of the best. Now this is going to be a weird route to kind of look at because you do have to find them in your playbooks. But any corner route that has a weird little kind of divot in it. Now, any bench usually has one of these routes in it, so I'm actually gonna call bench here, but you'll notice if you look at the play art that one of the routes here, and you you really can't see it, but I'll actually motion this guy out to see if you can see it better, but you see how the corner route, the square corner route has like a little, like it goes kind of like a little bit left first and then it kind of cuts. Look at the look at the corner route that's on the right side. This is how, this. The corner route that's on the right side is normally how the corner routes look and where it's just a sharp turn over but the one on the left side the one that has like that 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 small little that small little hitch to it that is one of the glitchiest corner routes that you guys can utilize in this game especially if you are custom stemming it it for some reason just creates a lot of separation especially against man coverage and it just happens to work so well in this game especially if they're playing any type of coverage. Now, I like to utilize it towards the inside receiver. So if the inside receiver is out there, that's usually my guy to actually utilize this this specific route towards. But I personally think that this route is this route custom custom glitched is better than the normal corner route custom glitched. I feel like it just works better. That extra hitch it just provides an extra little boost uh because the the more movement that they're doing at at the beginning, I think that makes it so that it makes the custom stem glitch 10 times better. So I'm actually gonna showcase the instant replay on it just so you guys can see how, how much faster these guys get off the off the line of scrimmage with the glitch, okay? They're both glitched, but as you, as you can see, one of these glitches is not like the other. And that's the one with, the, with that weird little hitch because he has to, they have to account for that little move before the play, before the play develops. They have to account for that small little hitch which makes this route a little bit better than some of the other routes that are in the game, especially when it comes to the corner routes. These are the absolute best stem glitches you guys can run in Madden. Now, for my favorite custom stem in the game, it's gonna be something that you guys are gonna be able to run after they patch it. It's the C route. I will dive deeper into this, but I will leave you guys with, with this. The C route can, all, can work as a quick slant hit, and then it can also work as an interior corner route hit, which is something that you guys can kind of create a, a quirky little offense around. And it's something that will get over the deep blues as well. And what I mean by a quick slant hit is you can actually hit it in stride in the middle of the field. And as you can see, there's no custom stem glitch. There's no nothing. You can simply just hit this route in stride. This is the only route that we're going to talk about that's not a glitch in this in this video we will do a full breakdown of the best custom stems that you guys can utilize but these are the best glitched custom stems that you guys can run in madden 25 my name is Tony montana hopefully you guys appreciate this video i will see you guys in the next one man as always two fingers deuces and peace out you guys